They had their crowd tonight behind them, so it's going to feel real good for us to have ours. It's been more than two years since the Boston Celtics played a home playoff game in front of fans at TD Garden. And the Celtics are anxious for that streak to come to an end Friday night. Boston now trails two games to none in its series against the Brooklyn Nets in the hopes that a home crowd, which will reach near full capacity for Sunday's Game 4, will help the team turn things around. We've been, been without for a while, and it was going to feel real good to, to have those guys back in there cheering for us and giving us that extra energy. I mean, we've been in a lot of series here over the last few years. We've been down 2-0, we've been up 2-0, and um, several times the script has split. There's no question that we'll look forward to playing in TD Garden, and we'll look forward to playing with more fans in TD Garden. They had their crowd tonight, you know, behind them, so it's going to feel real good for us to have ours. You know, obviously, um, as we all know, you know, the crowd is different, especially around this time of the year. To think that TD Garden is going to have more people on Friday and be near capacity on Sunday, you know, is a great reminder that, that everybody's been through a lot and progress is being made. And we're looking forward to that opportunity in front of our fans. A quick health update on Jason Tatum. His right eye was scratched early in the third quarter by Kevin Durant, and he did not return to the game after that play. Brad Stevens said after the game that in the locker room, Tatum's eye looked red and swollen, and that before Tatum went to the locker room, he was actually sensitive to light out around the court. Team's gonna have to wait and see how that right eye heals up in the coming days. Keep it locked here on all of our Celtics channels for the latest on Tatum and the Celtics. And in the meantime, I'm Mark D'Amico for Celtics.com.